Hi, welcome to my channel, Budget Audio Review and Upgrades. Now today I'll be reviewing this Monitor Audio Monitor 50 speaker, or speakers, should I say. Uh, before I go any further, I must apologise, I keep forgetting to uh, give my mate uh, Dit and Works a mention when I come to review speakers. Now these speakers are a lot more expensive than this, or well, quite a bit more upmarket than this anyway. Uh, but yeah, it knows a lot about speakers, so please go and visit Kevin if you've wandered along this to the channel to see these speakers, then you're in for uh, a bit more upmarket. You know, a better pair of speakers uh, and, and more knowledge, to be honest with you, on speakers, etc. How they were made, who made them, all that kind of stuff, some right technical details and even repairs on speakers. Even though I did attempt to uh, repair a tweeter on one of my uh, speakers recently and it kind of all ended up uh, all over the place, up in the air and a complete mess. But uh, I had an idea that's how I was going to end up uh, doing that job uh, because uh, me and delicate stuff doesn't really go, to be honest with you. I'm not that kind of person. You've got to have that little bit of a knack, I think. But uh, yeah, do visit uh, Kevin at Ditton Works. So I'm going to leave a link down below. So go and have a look at his channel if you're in for a more upmarket pair of speakers. Now back to these. These are monitor audio speakers. Uh, these are still currently available on their website for £175 in the UK. I think Amazon's just started, you know, just deleted them recently. And they was going for about £149 on Amazon. And obviously you can find places like eBay, etc. to find these. And that's exactly where I found these. I found a, a seller on there, I needed a couple of feedback, he was selling a few bits and pieces, and like anything else on eBay that I bid on, I put a minimum bid, the ma no, sorry, minimum, I put a maximum bid, should I say, uh, which is pretty low usually, because I've got thousands and thousands of things to choose from, I'm not after one particular item whatsoever, whatever I end up with, I end up with, then I can bring it to the channel, I can do my review on it, keep it if I think it's any good, or sell it on, or maybe break it up for parts, which I do with some of these speakers as well, that way, I don't have to worry about posting these because these get knocked, etc. in the post. And it also, hopefully, does a few other people favours just after a driver or a tweeter for their speaker. And if everyone kept on selling them as they are, it means they have to go and get a complete set of speakers just for one driver or for just one tweeter. Where hopefully, I'm helping them out a little bit here uh, in that process. And, and, and really my money back that I've laid out, which I can go and buy another set of speakers and do another review, etc., etc. So anyway... These are, to say, still on their site for £175. I'm going to tell you a little bit more information about these, so I'll get me a little bit of paper here forward. Right, I've got me a bit of paper, but before we do that, let's actually have a look at it in case you haven't already seen them. Now, I've done a little video, but I've done a little sound test on these. You may want to put a link at the top there now. Uh, you may want to wander off and have a little listen to that later on afterwards just to see what they sound. I'll put them on a pair of stands to give you an idea what they sound like. But anyway, let's take the front off if you haven't already seen them. And uh, there you go, these are a bit unusual, isn't they? a little bit unusual pair of speakers, a square pair of speakers, orange cone, this little orange bit here, a little bit of a fun pair of speakers maybe you could say. Maybe, you know, you see them like this, you're not going to take them too seriously maybe, but uh, yeah, you'd be surprised, you know, they're quite a nice sounding pair of speakers, which I'll come to uh, shortly. But uh, there you go, this cone here is plastic. Well, it's got a plastic cone, it feels plastic here anyway. But uh, let's, let me tell you a little bit more about it. This is a five and a half inch MM2 driver. Now, there you go, you know all about it now. Uh, apparently this is a, a metal matrix polymer driver. I mean, I must admit, I haven't heard of that before, but there you go. Uh, so that's that driver there. Now this tweeter here is a 25 millimeter C-cam tweeter. There you go. Uh, C-cam apparently stands for ceramic coated aluminium magnesium dome tweeter. So there's the two drivers here. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spin it round. Let me just tell you the measurements first as well while I've got it here. Uh, this is nearly dead square. It's 206 width, 206 in height, but a little bit deeper, 237.8 in depth. So it's nearly square, nearly a square kind of uh, speaker. So I'm gonna turn it round. Now what I normally do is put this on the floor and show you inside and all that kind of stuff, show you the drivers, etc., etc. And you would have thought, well, why haven't you done it this time? Well, I will do. But the um, only thing is, I couldn't get this here. I wanted to get this back plate off. Uh, this takes a slightly different screw to the driver at the front. I'll go back to the front in a minute to try and explain. And even though I've got a good, you know, solid set of uh, screwdrivers, etc., attachments and all that does X, all, does all the different kind of star fittings, all that kind of stuff. These are in so tight, it managed to shear all the screws. All the screws were sheared. Uh, when I say sheared, they're so small that they didn't take a lot and they kind of end up just a round hole. So the only way would maybe to be is to start cutting these and trying to make them into a flat kind of screw and it, it, it ends up marking all the speed from it. I don't think it's worth it. I just wanted to take this out and show you the crossover and maybe get more of a glimpse of the tweeter, but I couldn't do that, I'm afraid. But anyway, what I've got around the back here, we've got the, uh, your terminals here. These take uh, your banana plug, 
they take a spade, they take a you know wire as you know, put a wire hole in there, a little bit of wire you put in there, or you even fit the banana plug, even fits in that hole as well, so that's pretty good. You got there, this is a base, uh, let's just get this right. This is a rear port base free flex, and this has got hive H I V E port technology. I'm not too sure what that is. I didn't look that up actually, to be honest with you, but you, you may want to look that up. But obviously, it's some kind of a technology they use for the base part of the speaker. There's a little uh, little screw uh, hole there, uh, bracket kind of thing where you put a bracket on, screw fixing, shall I say. So we'll quickly turn it around before I actually tell you what they sound like and do show you just inside what I managed to do. As you can see, these screws here around this main driver, uh, I could get this out. These, these were just slightly bigger and didn't shear and they weren't in quite so tight but they must have really rammed that on or, or thick screws or the woods tightened up or something's happened just could not get them undone without actually ruining it and I couldn't get the tweeter out because it's behind this little kind of like uh, cage of this kind of like uh, metal cage kind of thing I didn't want to ruin that but anyway let's have a look at what I did manage to do so let's get it on the floor so there you can see I've got it on the floor I've got the main driver out here and I took quite a few pictures here of the main driver quite an interesting main driver with this orange cone uh, away it goes in into the magnet uh, through the spider etc uh, yeah so uh, a little bit interesting now I've not really seen one quite like this I think that be, you know before so um, yeah a little bit interesting there on the actual driver itself okay yeah sorry I couldn't show you much more of the speaker they're a little bit disappointed myself but just just there it was I didn't want to ruin the speaker uh, had some wadding going around all inside as well I forgot to mention that and it's quite you know it's quite a sturdy you know, it's only a small speaker it's going to be sturdy it's quite a well-made solid uh, kind of feel, feel to this speaker uh, apart from that like, say them screw shearing which was a little bit annoying really uh, maybe they're just cheap screws or like I say they really put them in there so tight that they would have tightened up and no one impossible to get them out with that such a small um, kind of um, connection or whatever you want to call it on the front of that screw okay so uh, how did these actually sound right just before I go on to the sound off one thing I did forget to mention is uh, the frequency response of these speakers are 55 Hertz to 30 kilohertz and also you do get a little bone that comes with them which I never got because uh, I bought these second hand and obviously the blokes lost this bung or whatever but uh, you've only got to use a little bit of wadding uh, a little cloth or something that's going to bung that hole up so you know just plug it in the back if you want to like tame them lower frequencies down I never really used it. I did try it out a few times, but uh, I preferred it as it was, even near the wall, pulling it away from the wall, etc., moving it around a little bit. But uh, as you can see in that video, I've done most of my testing with the speakers away from the wall. What are they? I think they're about 17, 18 inches away from the walls. As that video. Uh, and that's why I've done most of my listening. And I enjoyed these speakers. These are quite an enjoyable sounding pair of speakers. So I'm going to go into that a little bit more further detail. The bass was quite low. They say 55 hertz. They did go quite low. I don't know if it managed that completely, but uh, it had quite a nice sounding low bass. Bass guitar, bass drum, kick drum, all that kind of stuff sounded really nice. A bit of meat to it as well. Uh, that was a little bit dependent on what amplifier. I think, you know, if the, the more grunt your amplifier's got, the more in the bass department, the more of these are going to sound even better. It's just they just they just seem to handle it quite well, and they sounded quite nice. Um, for instance, I, I had them up with my JVC amp, which gives a fair bit of uh, you know a fair bit of weight in the bass department, and I just kept on turning that volume. I just kept on thinking, oh, I just want it a little bit louder. I want it a little bit louder. Uh, and these sound, you know, they're kind of louder. You as long as you can get a man and start shaking the house, and don't forget they're only a small pair of speakers. But the more you turn that volume up, though the more these sounded better I think. Now they, they really started to, to come alive. On low volumes that wasn't so apparent, but when you started cranking the volume up a bit, uh, these started to really come alive and I really enjoyed them. Um, so the bass was quite nice, it was quite low etc. Um, now with the drums and that and with some bass and that, if it's got a bit too too involving, should I say, too much going on, it could get a little bit a little bit congested down there. It did sound a little bit congested at times. This would be fast music, a lot going on, etc. It could be like a bit cramped, a bit congested, I found. But other than that, you know, it's quite a, a nice sounding and a, quite a, and a reasonably detailed bass. So quite enjoyable, you know, quite an enjoyable, uh, fun uh, kind of sound pair of speakers, these. Mid-range was quite nice, um, quite detailed the mid-range. Maybe just a tad smoothed off just a little bit. But other than that, the mid-range was quite nice, um, yeah, Quite nice to mid range the vocals, etc. You know, very enjoyable. Uh, you know, I'm not saying they're pinpoint sharp clear, but they're you know, a reasonable kind of a clarity to them, uh, a reasonable amount of detail to them, etc. So, you know, that was quite nice. The piano, the sax, 
uh, and the trumpet, they all sounded quite nice. There's quite nice. The only thing I found about uh, some of these instruments, some of these, uh, some tracks I played uh, where they suddenly like it was just focusing on, say, the trumpet or the sax or something like that when I was playing a bit of jazz, etc., is that uh, they didn't stand out as much as they did with some other speakers I got. They just seemed a little bit subdued, a little bit. Um, how could I kind of explain this? If, like, um, he was listening to a band and it was suddenly the sax player's turn to play. All the other instruments are still playing, but they're kind of highlighting on the sax player. Um, rather than them kind of being stood up and playing away, and you could go, oh, there he is, he's over there, there he is, look at him, you can see him as bold as anything, there's a nice bit of space around him, all that kind of stuff. It was kind of like he couldn't be bothered to get up. He was still playing the instrument, you could probably still know where he's coming from, you still know where he is, but you couldn't really highlight him so much as I could say, for instance, on the Wolfdale Diamond Freeze, he was stood up, uh, bold as brass, you know, you, your eyes were kind of fixed on him kind of thing. You, you couldn't miss him. He was there uh, pretty much waving at you, where on here it wasn't so apparent on the, on a singular instrument, like I say, for the, you know, the uh, sax, the piano um, and uh, the trumpet, something like that. Uh, it wasn't so apparent, but it was still pretty good. You know what I mean? Still pretty good. The sound stage was pretty good. Quite a reasonably big sound stage. It did go slightly beyond the speakers. It's quite, a, uh, like I say, quite a big, uh, big sound stage there, quite a, a, a boldish kind of sound stage to a certain degree, but just like I say, it didn't really pick out some of the instruments as you would like it to, to give you know, actually sharpen them up, give you like a, a direct kind of contact with the instrument, you know, it's their kind of thing, and I'm waving at you, you can't miss me kind of thing. It kind of kept them pretty subdued, but the old fairly soundtrack, the old sound stage was quite, quite a big sound stage and quite a bold sound stage, you know, for a little pair of speakers, they're giving quite a big sound to be honest with you. I was going down the other room and could quite easily forget that these were just a little pair of speakers. You know, I was thinking these are quite a bigger pair of speakers where that sound's coming from. Maybe because the bass was giving out a reasonable amount of bass as well and, you know, beefing these speakers up. But um, yeah, a quite enjoyable pair of speakers. Now, I have read a couple of views where they say these speakers are a little bit bright because they go up to 30 kilohertz. Not that you're going to hear the 30 kilohertz. They seemed a little bit bright, and I must admit, I didn't really find them that bright. I found them nice. The treble was quite clean, quite detailed, and quite nice to treble. Really enjoyed the treble on some of the tracks. These are a nice, fun pair of speakers, I think. I don't know whether they're worth the 175, probably, probably not. I don't know. It's, it's, it's pretty close. 175 is quite a bit of money, and obviously, you can go and get quite a few other different pairs of speakers for that kind of money. But if you're looking on the second hour market, and these are coming up for less than 100 quid, I think you know, you should seriously have a look at them depending if they're that kind of speaker for you, because they're a little bit, I don't know, they're a little bit of a unique, maybe, a little bit of a gimmicky kind of looking speaker, maybe for some people. Um, a bit of an unusual kind of speaker. Would it fit in your system uh, with this kind of look? I don't know. So that may be just a little bit of a drawback. Now, also, they do a mid speaker for this, because these are kind of also aimed at the uh, AV kind of um, environment. And when I first listened to these, and not listening to many amps and many bits of tracks and that. That's the kind of thing I kind of thought oh, because of the bottom of the bass and how low it went, etc. And the, the kind of the rumble you could get out of it, and etc. For a small pair of speakers, don't forget these are a small pair of speakers. I'm talking about small pair of speakers, uh, wise kind of thing, rather than a bigger pair and getting a subwoofer, etc. Obviously, you're going to get more bass with them. But for what they were, they're going to fit in a nice little small environment and still give a reasonable amount of bass. But they do a center speaker for this, and uh. I think that, uh, like I said, when I first turned these, I thought these are, these are ideal candidates for an AV system, but uh, also they fit quite nicely now, I think, into just a normal, you know, normal two-channel uh, amplifier, turntable, amplifier, CD player scenario as well. You know what I mean? They're not just uh, for cinema, as maybe I thought, and maybe they, they may be aiming these at as well, because like I say, they do a centre speaker for this as well, and they also do the surround speakers, etc., and also they do... Uh, a subwoofer for these as well but I think you know if you're looking for an AV system as well for a set of speakers and they look a little bit unusual as well you want to have a little bit of fun with your AV system and these these are definitely worth looking at definitely worth you know giving these a go definitely I think all in all quite a nice sounding like I say you, I kept on reaching for the volume of the amp thinking oh I just want it a little bit loud this is this is good I'm enjoying this I'm enjoying this little like I say the, 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 the drawbacks here is that uh, the bottom end can get a little bit a little bit congested down there when a lot's happening and you know if you're one of these people that like listening out for single instruments uh and when it's going to that instrument you want you know want plenty of space around it you only want to hear that instrument kind of thing even though the, obviously the, the background's playing as well it doesn't do a great job of that but other than that it's a nice little sounding and you know for the size of it 
quite a surprising little speaker so i definitely recommend it whether i'd go and pay 175 pound for it obviously that's you know you know according to your pocket kind of thing probably probably not really to be honest with you because i think maybe i could have spent 175 pound uh maybe getting a second hand pair that may be uh be better than these but for um on the second hand market um you know coming up for maybe 100 pound thereabouts or, or less i think they're quite a nice little set of speakers i really do i really enjoy them and uh like I said at the beginning of this video, some speakers that uh, I, I get, I will review, and I'll kind of sell them on, take them apart, etc. I'm going to keep these, I really enjoyed these, you know what I mean? They've got a few little drawbacks, but a blinding little speaker, like, you know what I mean? A speaker that's kind of going to, like I say, going to give you a bit of fun. It's a fun speaker, you know what I mean? It's a fun sounding speaker, it really is. So there you go, it may not be accurate, you know, as some maybe some of the others. Uh, maybe not quite as detailed as somebody else you can get, but what a fun speaker, what a really fun speaker. That's it, so these are the Monitor Audio, Monitor 50 speakers, and if you're going to say, if you're going to have an AV system as well, combined, well these are it, I think, you know what I mean, these are great, uh, uh, a price that kind of suits your pocket. I've offered it on again and I've really carried on, I've said the same thing about 10 times. Anyway, thanks for watching, until the next video, I'll see you all soon.